in California. This is KTM's factory team introduction for 2020. I know it's early October. That means a lot of riders are in rest and recovery mode. So not too many riders actually out on the track today, but it's not bad when you can get the 450 Supercross champ at the test track. Logging laps, skimming whoops. Also have one rookie out here out of all the riders on the TLD Red Bull KTM team. Only one is able to ride today. Also Justin Bogle and Blake Baggett will be out of the track in a moment. What's significant though at this media event is not just the riders, but that the fact that this test track is where it is because KTM's actual North American is right down there. Very rare to have a factory track outside the shop, so I'm gonna to try to give you the vibe of this event and what KTM has going on in this edition of the Weed Show brought to you by Race Tech. You know what gold valves do, suspension is plusher, better bottoming resistance, more traction, all made and engineered right here in the USA. So the riders are out on the track. There's actually two test tracks here, just outside of the shop and an enduro cross test facility as well. Other riders not riding today because they're a little bit banged up. Chris Webb. Derek Drake, you're not riding today, why? Um, first day on the bike was Monday, so I start Supercross next week, so I'll come out here and watch, see how, see how it's done. This is uh, ankle injury, is that what you're dealing yeah. with? Yep, ankle injury. Uh, I did it originally in Millville, but then I uh, re redid it again at uh, Bud. So I uh, took, uh, took uh, about a month and a half off, and um, yeah, I'm here right now. Okay, and you've done Supercross enough. Do you know you're going to be okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, fine. all right. Fine. Okay, he will be his rookie season in Supercross. There's Blake Baggett now out on the racetrack. Nice mishmash of Rocky Mountain ATV MC and Troy Lee Designs teams here. Rankin, let's talk about SmackDown on Friday. The Rock was back. That was cool. Yeah, it was sick. Yes. Uh, Pay-per-views. Have you been spending a lot of money on those? No, because I got the network. You got the network. It comes with it. All right. WWE Network all the way for Rankin. Uh, you're with Vogel now. Yes. It's a tough choice. You worked with both guys last year. Are Vogel's okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's cool. All right. Vogel will be all right. He's just getting back on the bike. Same thing with Baggett. Um, that's kind of what you get here in right after September time of the off season. I got to cross the track. Highly dangerous. Luckily, nobody's coming. A lot of riders in rest and recovery mode. Both Baggett and Bogle told us earlier today uh, they're coming back from illness. Uh, Bogle barely ridden. Baggett has ridden one day prior to this, just knocking off the rust, as he says. For Webb, this is actually his first week back in the 450. He only got back in a bike after his knee injury last week on the two stroke to prepare for straight rhythm. And then this week, finally back on his familiar 450 four stroke. So, a lot of riders banged up. It's the early stages. Don't watch these guys on the track and say, oh man, they don't look so fast. But it's not just about the track and the riders, but look at this awesome facility. So this is right up the road. KTM has built this. They paved a parking lot. It has actual restrooms, which I don't know if any test track has ever had that. Correct me if I'm wrong, folks. And a real parking area, this overhead structure so they can work on the bikes in the shade, or I guess the one day a year it actually rains out here. So there's so many cool things to this, and they, by the way, still have the traditional track that Troy Lee uses and the factory teams can use if they want. All the KTM teams up in Corona, up the road, where all the teams normally operate. I'm recording right now, so let's talk real quick. So this is big. I got Forrest Butler here. Uh, Justin Bogle, usually at this time of year, is like trying to figure out what team he's on, can even get on a bike, can even ride. He might actually have like a legit off season. I know you're like doing business right now, but he could come in with momentum. He could be really good. Yeah. Can make me pull my tool the way. Really? I was gonna make a map this thing, but he's going one way, you're going the other. I can still suck it in, or I can poke it out. Like which way should I go? He's going the other direction. We're losing more math this week by week. I'm going. I'm, I'm, you're going that direction? No, January 1st. I'm oh, you're hitting it hard. 30 pounds will be gone. Uh, your riders are kind of in a similar situation. Everybody was in sick and ill. Hardly anyone can even ride today. Uh, it's kind of weird this time of year. It's like an in-between time. It's not Anaheim 1 level right now. No, it's... it's don't get me on a random sport, you know? Oh, but, okay. But on the random right. sport, it is what it is. There's only so many days. There's, there's 12 months. Yes. So many races. Yes. Those races haven't changed. Yeah. But 
but our level has. Our level of commitment, testing, riding, and right. just these guys go faster and faster with more effort. You know, yes. like you're not gonna go run a faster 40 yard dash without more effort. And you're not okay. gonna get without more training. Okay. But it's just like we're doing the intro and everybody's looking at the staff. Look at the staff. Well, yeah. the, the staff guys are putting in that many hours too. Yeah. I don't want to get into the political thing of what has to change. You know, they're just something has to change. Because the off season needs to be longer. Is that what you're getting at? On whichever side of the ball it needs to be played. Yeah, yeah. just there's no break. But right. it, I think before you started hearing it, you know, like when McGrath went Supercross only back in the day, you really heard it from the riders. Yeah. Now it's it's it is a different ball game. The crew, like you guys knew what the crew put into things. Like yes, yes. you got passionate guys. But how many of those crew guys also walk away at 30, 35? Yeah. Because it's time, and then some stay, and people mm -hmm. have family, it's not that you yeah. can't, but. It's hard. Why are we all not hanging out? You know, why is it not like the NFL? Why are there not 60 year old managers, coaches? You know, like. I see. Even when you jump over here, like, Raj's older than everybody. Mm -hmm. Is he getting mad for saying that? <laughs> Just but facts, it, but, bro. But it's, but it's still a younger crew behind it. Yes. But it's no one's He's fault rare. other than. Yeah. yeah, if you move up the corporate ladder, ladder it's different, but the younger guys are younger guys because it's grueling when it's raining. Right. Why are they sick? Not because of one year. It's because this is all they've been doing since uh, amateurs. Ah, okay. 250, 450s, and then when they are hurt, coming back from being hurt, you're pushing harder. I see. You know what I mean? There's really yeah. no break time. I've looked at it like this. It's time for us to become, instead of a series, mm -hmm. to become, and now I'm brain farting on the word, a league. A league? A league, a yes. League. And I then, hear that all the time. Fans will be like, why don't they change this? And I'm like, we don't have a commissioner, bro. And it doesn't, you can't just do it. There is no commissioner of the league. So your guys, yeah, that's the whole key. You're feeling this right now because both of your guys had some sickness, fatigue, illness that they're trying to recover from. And we don't have a lot of time, actually. No, we got 10 weeks. It's, I mean, I mean, 10 well, weeks? We're off, right? It yeah. is 10 weeks. December? Yeah. Yeah, we're halfway through October. You're right. Almost. Half so of a roughly month. Roughly, we have yeah. 10 or 11 weeks, and that's where we're at. So there's no. You know, the off season, what about the guys that did Nations? Yeah, oh my gosh. The two weeks that most yeah. people took a break, they don't get a break unless yep. they're gonna take their break now. And why don't people go do Euro races? <sighs> because when are they gonna heal? Mm -hmm. Not just injury wise, what if, right. what if they just need rest? You know, what yep. about those international flights? So you gotta find more day, I mean more time in the day. So yeah, so we need a league. Let me let me give you some positive news. And Mathis runs it. Oh my God. Just kidding, that would no. work. Uh, he, would, he would endorse that. Like some positive news. Again, Vogel, if Vogel comes in ready, dude. Yeah, okay. Vogel can be good. Like, he was good last year, and I didn't know it. He wasn't even feeling good, and he was good. So what might happen if he's actually feeling good, dude? That, it was, you know, they're the biggest stat that he and, uh, and Button had, which was true. Yeah. But you don't, you don't pay attention to everything sometimes. He's yeah. never, till right now, he's yeah. never been on the same 450 team back-to-back -back years. Ever. Ever. And wow. he's only done four years of 450s. Yeah. He had that in 250s with yeah. the guy who went through their amateur program. Right. And he won him a title. Yep. And then, even though he won the title next year, he got second in the championship behind Mark Blake. Yeah. That's two solid years. Right. This would be the first time he's going to now be on a Premier Factory 450 team for a second year. I see. And yeah, he was sick in battling for ride. There were some great rides. Yeah. Were the, were the bad rides because of being sick? I don't know. That's okay. the whole gamble that goes back to okay. picking him or Benny. You know, I can still believe Benny. I, I want to see Benny end up on a good ride. It's almost like we're boyfriend girlfriend fighting. You know, like, I, yeah. I want to see it get better. Mm -hmm. um, I still believe in Benny so much. It's just hard when you. It's business too, and yeah. at the end of the day, we have to have those bikes up front. You know, and yeah, that's where Justin's expertise comes in. And then, he's going to be up front. I mean, the mud, the mud race. He literally ran into Dean Wilson, lapping him, and their buddies on the last yeah. lap, and Dean knocked him over. <laughs> or it was third, maybe even second. So, but his heat race wins, his style. He's a super girl. He's like, he's like the McGrath guy with the BMX style. You know? Oh yeah. He's just he rides it effortlessly. But then outdoors. Even with the rough summer, he led 20 minutes of the first red blood moto. So, yep. yeah, I mean, every year we just try and, our honest goal every year we knock on, not wood, but I'm gonna knock, yeah. and I'm gonna knock. Yeah. Every year since I started this team, literally every year, we've outdone the prior year. Gotcha. Every year, right. in some way. So what's next? Obviously trying to win more races, trying yeah. to win a title, but it's also to put two 450 guys on the podium. Okay, all right. So, yeah, you're setting the bar higher and higher. It's getting harder to improve. There's only one way to go after all that. <laughs> all right. Good stuff, Forrest Butler. Okay, we'll keep moving. Vogel's, uh, Vogel. Uh, how was it? It's good. Yeah. Fun, man. We're, we're breaking the rust off. And... Yeah. 
throwing some little scrubs and whiffs, you know, just trying to enjoy it. Is it a little pressure to be like, oh, I got to ride in front of an audience and I've barely been riding? <laughs> Do you worry about that at all? Um, I could see how that would be a thing. I, I love it though, you know? Oh, okay. I, I enjoy it. I'm not, I'm not scared to hit the jumps or nothing, so. It's yeah. Fun. I like, I, this is my environment, man. I like this stuff. Okay, but we're not going to have, this is not a stopwatch national oh, situation not. here. That's Do why not. I'm, that's why I'm chilling, because. Okay. <laughs> I'm smarter than that. Maybe 19 year old Justin, maybe not. All right. The age that I'm at now, I'm not even gonna tell y'all. Right. We know better. You're not sending it. You're just having fun. No, absolutely not. These okay. days are to have fun, you know? You guys want cool photos and good yeah. stuff, or do you want to see people being idiots out there? You know? We're gonna have some fun. Okay, look, I know you were like sick, fatigued, whatever, but you have to be so stoked over the fact that you are going to have a full off season where you know what team you're on and hopefully not coming back from a gnarly injury. This kid's like the dream scenario, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible, man. It's, it's what I've been praying about yeah. for years. So um, I know it's not all my time, and I just have to be thankful for what I'm given and try to make the most of it. So that's what I'm doing. And luckily for me now, what I've been given is an incredible staff, incredible motorcycle, an incredible team of people that are willing to put the work in like I am, but yeah. also believe in me, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's a beautiful thing. Way this stuff in life works, not just sports. You know, the second you stop doing good, it's tough to still believe in it. So the fact that these guys do just re-energizes me every single time I come out here. So I love it. All right, I'm back here. That's uh, Anton from some website, but I won't mention it. I don't want you to steal my views, Anton. Uh, Webb is picking up the pace. Get better. The bosses are watching. John Hines from KTM, and that's Roger DeCosta from KTM. He has to pick up the pace. It wasn't good enough early. I noticed he got faster than you guys are out here. He got quicker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Couple, <laughs> Couple triples. <laughs> uh, Cooper is not ridden. This is like he's just getting back on a 450, right? Yeah. This week is uh, like the first week of the Right. Last week he was. How much? Okay, you've been through this drill a million times of guys coming back. Do you even care what it looks like in these first couple of weeks? Does it even matter? Or are there certain things you can still see? Yeah, it, you you get void right away. You do. Something. Yeah, you, you start <laughs> thinking. You always worry about the worst things could happen. You know. Oh, okay. So even though there's technically two and a half months to go, you're still thinking yeah. about it all quite seriously. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it takes. Oh, bag, it's going back out. Don't get shot by the gun. It's a legendary Simon Cudby shooting photos. Let's watch the triple. It's a lot easier on the four stroke than it was last weekend. Real quick, I found Marvin Muscan. So you got a new guy. No, you got a new, no, this no not this guy. This, this is an old guy. This is an old guy. It's just that guy skinnier, but. Yeah, this is Brian. Did he do that for your wedding, by the way? Was the weight loss for your wedding? Exactly. Isn't that what the goal was? You're looking yeah, good, yeah. dude. Looking good. Who won, you or Doc G? G won, he lost more? By the... In my heart, they both won. I know, you yeah. did. you're too nice. You're too nice. Okay, so introduce me to your new guy. This is Brian. Yes, Brian Morrow, yeah. He's not 18 yet, so 17. He's definitely a kid, and, and it's so weird for me to say that, really. And I was yeah. actually telling him that we have like the same age difference yeah. between him and me to me with DV. No kidding. Yeah, I mean like really close. So, so it's like now that I say that, I'm like, okay, I, I have to, you know, like to really talk to him like as a, like a like a young, you know. So it's funny to say that for me. And plus, you've been here so long. I mean, did you? Yeah. Do you have any? Did you guys really know each other? Not like you were, grew no, up racing. He's, no, he's so much younger. That's than what I mean. Yeah. Right. Right. But yeah, but um, no. I mean, I only knew him like since uh, maybe at least like yeah, four or five years, I think. Cause yes. um, I remember in Supercross of uh, Lille. Uh, yeah. we were, oh, we were okay. together, so he was already okay. racing, and uh, obviously I've been following too uh, when he was racing in the French uh, Championship or uh, European, and uh, and now he's like in the World Championship, so for sure I know him. And he's, you know, he was racing with uh, my first uh, team that I raced, you know, Bud Racing, so. You were even a Bud Racing guy at one point? Yeah. Gosh, yeah, man. My very first uh, team, and yeah, that was Bud Racing, so he definitely started just like me, so it's pretty cool. Wow, um, so you were supposed to race GPs this year. Did you get hurt at the beginning of the year? Is that yeah. what happened? I got hurt and after, yeah, it was tough season. I mean, I got time to get back as I was riding. I, I mean, to my real potential. I mean, and right. I got, yeah, I got some other problems and everything. So, but yeah, it was tough season. But now I'm ready to be here. 
Yeah, not the results you could have no, gotten, maybe. No. Right. Uh, no, but what about Supercross? You got some experience with that. Most French riders have a decent background. <laughs> so do you? Yeah. 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 yeah, he always yeah raced and and, and, and and practiced Supercross. You know, it's I feel like it's in our blood. You know, I, I mean, I feel like I agree. we all we all grew up and we because maybe because we are so excited about about Supercross that even if we're not racing Supercross, mm. we, we still want to ride, practicing it. You know, and. Uh, uh -huh. Sometimes we maybe get in trouble, you know, and you jump on the supercross track with the motocross track, you know. <laughs> really? But I'm pretty sure that's the same for him. So, but he he raced yeah, Bercy Supercross like many years already. Did you do like that French? There's a French championship, right? A supercross. Yeah, I did once. Okay. A couple races, yeah. 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 But okay. never, yeah, he couldn't never do a full championship because then he was racing GPs and, uh, and, and getting yeah. ready for outdoors. Yeah. I was between everything. Yeah. Between outdoors and. I see. So I didn't really, I mean, do special training, you know? You're well rounded, though, yeah. can do different things. Now, I heard you're so young, you don't even have a license and you can't even drive yeah. here. <laughs> so, how are you even getting, how are you handling America? I don't know. I <laughs> are lucky to be with Marvin and mm -hmm. yeah. also with Edgar and everything. So. Yeah. Okay, learning as we go. All right, yeah. you're a teacher now. Look at you. Uh, bonus time, they. So I gotta go shoot a video of this, don't I? I have yeah, to yeah, check yeah, this yeah, out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Out, out of all the impressive things of factory bikes and a factory test track, uh, what they seem to be most impressed here is, you know me, I love my free lunches. Uh, they're serving pizza, but look at the inside of this. This is bonus time. Worth taking photos of. It is. Mark, worth taking photos of, Mark. Can't wait to <laughs> That's an actual brick oven on wheels and all wood. Yeah. Wood fired, wood fueled, and uh, we're about to have lunch, so I'm done. <laughs>